Hey guys, this is IX Roll at IX with Transformers Exhaust Pipe. Alright, firstly, I want to say, oh my god, look at this alt mode. <gasps> oh, I love old cars. And I love how this turned out. <laughs> so, what inspired me to build this guy is, first, there's not a lot of old cars on YouTube. There's not a lot of old car transformers in general. Maybe like one or two. <coughs> but, um, what really inspired me is the scene from Revenge of the Fallen, um, with, uh, Sector 7 where they're going through the pictures and, uh, they're looking for, uh, somebody who knows about the Matrix and all that. And they had a lot of pictures of, like, old cars. And, you know, of course, Jetfire. But they had a lot of pictures of old cars of the first uh, Transformers to come to Earth. And that really inspired me to make an old car. And I love how this turned out. It's so small for how much detail is actually on the thing. It just looks so great. Um... Firstly, here he is, next to a Hot Wheel. So you can see pretty much how small he is. I mean, he's a Scout class, like I always make. Um, but there's just so much little details and curves on this guy. I mean, the shape is, like, perfect, if you can see that. It's just, like, the shape, just the sort of curved shape, is just, like, perfect on this guy. You can see the, uh... Spare wheels, the covered spare wheels on the side. He's got the four wheels there. He's got headlights. It's a very nice grill piece that I've been looking uh, for ways to use. Now, most of you know by now uh, that I take risks and I glue things together. Uh, this is uh, this windshield is glued on, but uh, <laughs> I really don't care the slightest bit. Because look at this. Look how awesome it looks. Uh, the doors do open here, but they open inverted, so. Now I know I've gawked a lot of this alt mode. Um, maybe a little too much, but it's really hard not to. Um, it just looks so good. And look at the bottom. There's nothing. No robot parts. The only thing that might give away the transformation are these, hi these, this hinge back here. I mean, this hinge here uh, could be for something like a trunk. This hinge here, not, not really. Um, also, and uh, these two hinges on the side, those might give something away, maybe. But other than that, those are really the only things that might give it away. But it just looks so good that really, I don't think. You'd notice that. But like I was saying, the bottom, uh, is very flush. And, uh, there's a little compartment here that maybe a gun could be stored inside or something. He has a little engine feature. It's a little silly because the windshield, the grill, and the hood are one piece, but you can lift it up to see some what of a pseudo engine inside there. Let's get to transformation. Bear with me, his arms are very fragile. Alright. First what you gotta do is I like to open up these doors like that and bring them down. Now you're going to bring those up. There's a little uh slots here and holes in there. Uh now, see, the arms come off of that so much. It's because they're binoculars pieces, so. But if you get it right, 
Like I said, all these Lego Transformers are very camera shy. They don't like to function well on camera. Now you rotate them around like that. Bend it at the elbow so it's right. And bring it down. And that's his chest. Now what you do is there's a hinge here. Well, you bring it through on the hinge. This uh, slot here goes through there like that and it helps snap everything together. Bring this down. There's the hinge there that you hinge down so his legs are there. His legs do slightly split but they're hindered by the wheels here. Rotate the engine around to give him stability. And uh, you can see he's, he's, he's getting there. Then you take the back flap there, right there. Then you take the hood, and when you bring it down, the head comes into place. Now, there should be a face there. There would be a face there if I was, you know, like one of those huge customizers or uh, working at Hasbro or uh, Lego or something. There would be a face there. Um, unfortunately, I can't put one of those red eyes there because, uh, It won't. F it wouldn't fit. I tried it. He does need a little bit of fiddling around with to stand, but once you get him in the right place, he will stand. And there's exhaust pipe in robot mode. So as you can see, he's pretty, pretty actually armored in the arms. Um. He does remind me of like an old geezer of lockdown. Just his uh his proportions. With the sort of long legs, the wheels on his on the sides here. Um I don't know, his head with a long neck. I don't know, he reminds me of lockdown for some reason. You can see he has a pretty decent sized backpack. But um really I don't care. It, it looks nice. It, it's a slush. Which is a nice thing. Um, and he's just really cool looking all over. I really like how this guy turned out in both modes. He's really, 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 really grown on me. And he's like one of my favorites. As you can see here. Uh, let me see if I can get it. He's got a tiny little crack in the windshield there. Don't know if you can see that. And he's got a little crack on his... Uh, chest plate there. That was actually intentional. I took my, uh, box knife and put those little cracks in there. Just to give him a little bit of character. But, uh, I mean, there he is. He's a pretty cool guy. And I really like him. Hope you do, too. So, this is Iaxwad Iax with Lego Transformers exhaust pipe.